Hello all, my name is Kuresh and welcome to my Yudish channel. So guys, today we will be reviewing a really cool laptop that has been sent to us by Acer. Huge thanks to Nvidia and Acer for sending this beast of a laptop, which will now become my primary working laptop. And I'm going to showcase each and every bit of this laptop and you'll see this laptop in more of my upcoming videos. <laughs> This laptop comes with a 6GB RTX 3060 GeForce GPU and a 10th generation core i7 CPU. With just 2.3 kg it is on the thinner side of the gaming laptops but just don't go by the size. This laptop is a beast with all the ampere functions such as real time ray tracing, second generation DLSS and a thinness due to third generation Max-Q technologies. We will discuss the feature in detail, but let's look at the build quality and the hardware components of this laptop. Now let's go ahead and try to see more features and configuration of this Acer Predator Helios 300 gaming laptop. It has 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. It has Windows 10 Home of 64-bit. It also supports NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 with 6GB of dedicated VRAM. It has 16GB of RAM which can be upgradable to 32 GB. It also has one TB SSD. It supports up to two TB HDD. The display is somewhere around 15.6 inches. It also has this amazing technology, which is called as in-plane switching. Obviously all the videos that will be shown will be in full HD mode. So it also supports 144 Hertz, three MS display. It also has Alexa built-in and obviously the product type is a laptop computer. You can see more images from here by just scrolling it towards the right. I'll be giving you this entire link in the description of this particular video. With the new RTX 3060, this laptop can play games with RTX on. Let me show you with a recent game that I've actually played in my laptop. Only NVIDIA's RTX platform includes dedicated RT cores for ray tracing and tensor cores for AI that enable groundbreaking technologies at breakthrough speed. If I talk more about RTX guys, RTX uses a technology which is called as ray tracing. It is the holy grail of gaming graphics simulating the physical behavior of light to bring real-time cinematic quality rendering to even the most visually intense games. So it is pretty much amazing when you are actually trying to play the games, more clarity, more amazing effects you'll be able to see in the game. So guys, here you can see that I was playing this game Cyberpunk and in the left hand side, you can see that I had actually disabled the ray tracing mechanism. Whereas on the right hand side, I had enabled the ray tracing mechanism to ultra. And now you'll be able to see the difference with respect to the game. See the clarity, the grasses, the rocks, the gate, everything so amazingly it is being seen when the RTX ray tracing mechanism is on. It's pretty much amazing. It'll give you a very amazing experience. Another new feature that RTX GPU have is DLSS. If you don't know about DLSS guys, it is deep learning super sampling and it actually boosts your frame rate. It was first introduced in the Turing architecture. It leverages a deep neural network to extract multi-dimensional feature of the rendered scene. It intelligently combines detail from the multiple frames and use a reduced input sample to construct a high quality final image that looks comparable to native resolution while delivering high performance. Essentially, the tensor cores allows DLSS to speed up your games, all while providing comparable images, sometimes even more detailed images. Now let's go ahead and try to see the DLSS settings. In the left hand side, you can see that I've kept the DLSS setting as off. In the right hand side, you can see we have kept the DLSS settings as on. And now you will be able to see the amazing experience that you are able to get in the right hand side of the game. And obviously it is also giving you a stable FPS, you know. Obviously it is boosting the frame rate in an amazing way. That is the importance of DLSS, an amazing technique that has been brought by Nvidia. I have also even tried it with the game of Doom where I had actually initially kept the DLSS as off. And then again, after some time, after some time of the gameplay, I've actually kept the DLSS on. Definitely you'll be able to see an amazing 
boost in the frame rate itself over there and it is able to control the entire cinematic picture in an amazing way itself. So yes, this is the basic difference of using DLSS by keeping it on and off. So guys, this was all about this particular video. Now, as we go ahead, guys, in the upcoming video, we are going to see more benchmarking videos with respect to playing games and also training deep learning models. I'm going to perform some of the image classification plus object detection models and try to see that how quickly it gets trained. Apart from this, I'm also going to check out some of the rendering things that we usually do while we are recording the videos for YouTube channel. So I'll try to see that how fast or quickly it gets rendered. All those things will be coming in the upcoming videos. So I hope you like this particular video. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. All the information regarding this laptop will be given in the description of this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one doll. Bye-bye.